This particular module will help you learn about the various types of questions that you will find on many exams and certainly the BCEN exams. The fourth type of question that you may encounter on the BCN exams are probably the hardest of all, and those are um, what we call your analysis-based questions. Now, the reason that analysis-based questions are the most difficult is because your analysis-based questions are not pure recall. You're not just asked to recall what a treatment is for a disease, but rather, as the name implies, an analysis question requires you to analyze information. So it gives you a piece of information that you have to analyze, and then you use that analysis in turn to figure out the correct answer. So it's almost like two steps. First, you have to analyze the information given and then use your analysis to synthesize the answer. Let's look at an example. The emergency nurse would suspect that a patient who has a low hematocrit as well as a low mean corpuscular volume, a low mean corpuscular hemoglobin, and a low mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration probably has which of the following conditions? Okay, I'm sure all of you are panicking right now looking at that question. That looks really hard. And analysis-based questions are hard. What this question requires you to do is to look at each of those uh, choices that you're given and determine how each of those applies to the final answer. So it's just not a pure recall that you have to remember it, but you actually have to analyze each of the pieces, figure out how they apply to the final answer. I'm gonna give you the correct answer now. So if you wanna try and figure it out on your own, pause it for a moment, but I'm gonna give you the correct answer. The correct answer is D, iron deficiency anemia. Now, how do I know that? Well, I know if the patient has a low hematocrit, they're anemic, so that one's obvious. But to find the cause of the anemia, I need to look at the erythrocyte indices, which are the others listed in the question. So if the patient has a low mean corpuscular volume, that means the red blood cell's too tiny. If they have a low mean corpuscular hemoglobin, that means they have not enough hemoglobin in each blood cell. And if they have a low mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration, that means that the percentage of hemoglobin in each red blood cell is less than normal. The thing that causes people to have small red blood cells with not enough hemoglobin in them is iron deficiency anemia. But the only way I can figure out that answer is to analyze each of those separately and ask how does a low MCV, a low MCH, and a low MCHC contribute to anemia. So as you can see, it requires a lot of analysis. And these are the hardest questions on the exam. I hope you found this information helpful. And I have a whole bunch of other modules available on ways to prepare for a certification exam. Make sure to watch them all and good luck on your studying.